As the coronavirus pandemic rages on, Los Angeles cardiologist Dr. Ernst von Schwartz says he's never signed so many death certificates. COVID-19 is raging across California, Los Angeles being hit especially hard. Here to talk about what he's seeing while treating coronavirus patients is Dr. Ernst von Schwartz. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us today. As you sign all of those death certificates, what goes through your mind about people who are still denying the impact or playing the, it down, comparing it to a flu? It's, it's just unbelievable, Carlo. I mean, we as healthcare workers, frontline workers, seeing what's going on in the emergency rooms and the hospitals and the intensive care units on a daily basis, it's just an absolute nightmare. And I hear the same what you said. I mean, I hear people outside saying, oh, we don't believe in that. It's not so bad. It is bad, believe me. It's really bad. What are the biggest misconceptions still out there in the public right now about the coronavirus? Well, people in particular, if they are relatively young and healthy, they think, well, even if they get the coronavirus, they might not get sick. I can tell you that, I, I, as I mentioned, I sign a lot of death certificates right now. And these are not only the elderly. These are people in their 50s, you know, without any significant health uh, diseases in the past. So it can still affect all of us, even though, as we know, of course, the elderly and those with underlying heart and lung diseases are much harder hit than anyone else. But even young people do die from it. Dr. Von Schwartz, earlier we had a story on about a big push going on right now to open up sports for students across the state. Uh, a lot of other states seem to be doing that successfully. Why should or shouldn't we do that here in California? Well, first of all, we are in the midst of the surge, so we are really seeing the highest numbers ever right now in the last two weeks, much higher than even in March and April. Uh, the other thing is, as long as we don't have really a, a wide majority vaccinated, and even if we are vaccinated, keep in mind this does uh, protect us from getting the disease or at least a severe disease, we still most likely can transmit the virus to others because the vaccines do not prevent that we get the virus. We can get it, we can transmit it, we are contagious. And if we transmit it to someone who is elderly or who has underlying disease, that could be disastrous. So um, younger people, kids, students, and so on, they can have the virus without a disease and can uh, be contagious. So what does the vaccine mean? If we don't roll it out quick enough, do we have a quick end to the pandemic or is this going to last a lot longer. Well, um, there, there were several several uh, statistics done earlier that uh, if we want to get rid of the pandemic pandemic completely, we probably need at least 70 to 80 percent of the population vaccinated. <clears throat> so the fact is most likely that we will never get rid of the virus completely, but it might become endemic, meaning uh, something like the flu. It might be there forever, but it will be less dangerous over time. Um, the more people are vaccinated, the less severe cases we are going to see. Um, and then uh, we'll see, of course, in the future, even we might need to yearly vaccinated vaccines like for other um, respiratory illnesses like the flu. All right, Dr. Ernst, Ernst von Schwartz, a cardiologist and researcher based in Los Angeles. Thanks for some eye-opening words about the coronavirus pandemic. Thanks for having me on, Kello.